Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Panorama Studios YT video out of Bad Dog and let's just carry on with the KSI album. This next one is going to be called Millions and he's doing this on his own. Let's go. Different melody for him, different melody altogether. I got millions on my mind. Okay. Everything's self explanatory. I'm not even going to pause the chorus. Let's keep going. Money can't buy happiness. Only rent it. I told myself I want to finish and I meant it. I hated every fucking second. Hated every mention. Searching and screaming for all the reasons that you wanted more appealing and attention. You turned my blood against me. You made me hate my bestie. You fucking ruined me, man. Damn. You don't care. Every message that I would send would just air. Oh well, fuck it. You got what you wanted at my expense. You did it. You already won it. And now I'm picking up my pieces. Done with all your leases. I hope you hear this and hate it. I got millions on my mind. Hold up, who is he talking about? Is he talking about Deji? Yeah, wait. We're gonna dissect this shit right now. Right, I don't wanna throw like assumptions out there, but this really sounds like it's towards Deji. And I'm gonna see what Genius has to say about it. JJ moved out his feeling on his disputes with his brother Deji. Yeah. It's also with Deji, fucking hell. Damn, this is a peak song. I didn't realise it would be this kind of song. I never thought JJ would come out with a song like this and talk about his feelings on the track, especially on his brand new album. So JJ brings out his feelings on his disputes with his brother Deji, another famous YouTuber. Yeah, he got the fame of KSI. With this dispute, JJ's own family turned their own backs against him and blaming him for the disputes as JJ says, you turn my blood against me. Even getting to the point in Christmas 2018 with JJ was kicked out from his parents' house, leaving him alone. It climaxed when Deji made a video talking about his issues with his brother. I actually remember that video. It was, uh, it was quite mad. And now look at JJ. I know him and Deji have had a lot of problems and whatnot. I feel Deji was always under KSI anyway. Like, it doesn't even matter. Comedy shorts gamer, Deji whatever the fuck he wants to be called, is never the best anyway. He, he wasn't really up there with his brother. He really wasn't. He's still always going to be in his brother's shadow. His brother is killing everything right now and Deji's just getting by by a scratch. If Deji's getting anything off his YouTube right now, I'm surprised. He's been in so many like news articles and whatnot recently and whatnot. I don't know what the truth is and I don't care. Deji is basically fucking up in every single direction and it's not leaving him with a much of a good choice of anything at all. Like Deji seems like a nice guy but the way he goes around things is fucked. He fucks everything up for himself. Never mind him and his family. Like that's fucked. Following its release there was a mass support for Deji which may refer to KSI feeling ruined and Deji getting what he wanted may refer to the additional views he gained from the drama as well as the diss track he made towards him though this was short lived as JJ responded accordingly. The reference to JJ hitting his bestie could refer to JJ questioning his friendship with certain members of the Sidemen or Randolph who is the reason as to why this argument began. Personally I'm not too sure what they're trying to talk about there saying that uh, questioning his friendship with certain members of the Sidemen. If that's what it says here on genius then it's a guesstimate anyway because it says could refer we won't know until we hear from the man himself but that is peak from what he just literally said in there in that first one that's peak let's see what else he's got to say about deji in this I really made it since you helped me with my issues 
stronger than ever. Want you to know it forever. I got millions on my mind. So All right, so I take it that he must have some sort of like misses on the side of one that doesn't want to be known. Or if she is known, I'm just oblivious to it because I didn't even know myself. It's either he's got himself a missus or he's got himself a, like a really dear friend to him. There's no context behind this. I can't have a look through genius or whatnot. We won't hear it until we hear it from the horse's mouth, which will be JJ's. And to be fair, I think JJ should make a video on this, just like talking about through each point and whatnot. Just explaining this because this is a very deep song. Like I could make a song like this or similar to this at least as well about some of the people and whatnot through my life. And this is fucked. Did you really fucked him up? I quite feel for KSI on this one, you know. I feel sorry for him. Let's finish the song off then. Real different song. It hits some different feelings this one. He even says he doesn't want to be his brother. Wow. He says he don't want to breathe. He must have been hit bad. Turn his, like, Deji turning his own blood against him or whatnot. Damn, he got hit hard by that. I feel for KSI. Well, unfortunately, it was a sad ending for that one, ladies and gents. But thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up in the comments if you want me to react to something that you want me to react to yourself personally. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.